you think you are a grateful person? Many people think the same. But many of them missed a very important point, and that point is that if your gratitude does not affect your daily life, then your gratitude is not gratitude. If the gateway to wealth and peace is gratitude, then why do so many people, even though they claim to be grateful people in their lives, constantly suffer from financial problems, chaos, and poverty? What's messing it up in the middle? You cannot say, I am capable of everything. Because everything is a vague word and our subconscious mind only responds to clear commands. If we pay attention, we use these clear commands very well for negative verbs and sentences. For example, we say today I am not feeling well at all, and I have some kind of pain and complication in such and such a place of my body, and in short, we talk about these pains with such precision and delicacy that everyone can imagine them. The same thing includes our wrong methods of gratitude. Rhonda Byrne offers a great way to be grateful in her book The Miracle of Gratitude. I was a bluff about gratitude before I read this book. But one question always bothered my mind. And that question was why most of those who claim to be always grateful to God, suffer from financial and spiritual problems. Should a person always be in hardship and poverty to endure the hardships of life and then everything will be compensated by going to heaven? The man was not created to always be in suffering, hardship, and misery. Rather, God created man as the best of creatures, and for this reason he must be the leader of other creatures and having wealth is one of these blessings. The next part of my question was answered by the book The Miracle of Gratitude. Mrs. Rhonda Byrne mentions a special way to be thankful to God in her book, which is a multi-step method, starting with writing down 10 things that we have in our lives right now that we are thankful. 4. I remember very well the first day when I started writing these 10 things. I was only able to fill 4 of those 10. It was very strange, for me, who always thought I was a grateful person. It was so hard to count 10 of the things that included me and I had them in my life until this age. By reading the rest of the book, I learned to change my perspective on the things I had. Before starting this work, I was looking at my life through a peephole, and in reality, I was pretending to be grateful, and in the depths of my heart, I was complaining to God. For example, I said, what is the situation? I studied so much, why didn't they directly hire me somewhere? Or why is life so meaningless and so many people are unhappy with their lives? But the truth was somewhere 180 degrees opposite to this matter and was smiling at my grumblings. The problem was not this world, my field of study, society's infrastructure, etc. Of course, I'm not saying everything is perfect, but it wasn't as bad as I was saying. The problem was the aperture through which I was trying to understand the vastness of an infinite ocean. Well, of course, it was not possible. I learned to stand and look with both my eyes at the vastness of God's mercy and blessings instead of leaning toward that opening, and it was truly amazing. Day by day I found more and more blessings in my life that I was very grateful for and slowly those 10 things to be grateful for were no longer enough for all the things I was truly grateful for that day. But that was not all. I have seen the effect of this gratitude on my financial situation and even my family's amazing. My condition was much, much, much better. I was feeling happy and satisfied from the bottom of my being, and at the same time, I was walking forward. You start doing this like me. If you don't believe that this simple way is practical, well, continue it as a test for just one week.